I've been drawing for six years now, and uh, yeah, faces are still a challenge. But over the last seven days, I've managed to go from this to this. Here's how I did it. If I could, then anyone can, trust me. This is a head. So, uh, what do we do with it? This is far too complicated to start with. The basics. I started by revisiting the basics. No matter how much time you've spent drawing, these basics always hold new treasure for you to discover. Jumping right into a real face can be overwhelming. It's sometimes better to start with art you like, something that's familiar and already simplified. So this is Natsume. I found them recently and I really love the way that they draw faces. Anime styled faces are pretty different to my default, but make for really great starting reference since they're so far removed from reality that you can put your full focus on the big picture, the basic proportions. See, whether we're drawing a real face or an anime face, the proportions follow the same general rules. Anime is a simplification of life, so that checks out. I start by drawing a crude head shape, something vaguely circular. If you're following along, definitely don't worry about perfection. I split it in half like this, and then again. You can use a ruler if eyeballing it is tricky. Then split the upper and lower sections in half once again. The eyes are going to sit right around this halfway line, the mouth on the first quarter, bottom of the nose up about a third from there, and the brow line about halfway up from the eyes, like so. Ears fall about here from just below the brow line to just above the bottom edge of the nose. Hair grows from the top of the head, and the chin grows from the bottom, but you probably already knew that one. All of these can squash and stretch, and rarely will a real face map onto this one-to-one, -one, but as a baseline this is a good simplification. And it also works with a side view, or in perspective. I like to simplify it this way with halves, because while not perfectly accurate, it's really easy to grasp and remember, and when you're starting out it's way more important to grasp it than to perfect it. As you grow more advanced, we can pull out this little thing called an Asara head to get some more accurate proportions down, as well as some three-dimensional form. But this guy will come back later, he's a bit too complex for right now. In making art, the whole game is to move things from your analytical understanding into your muscle memory. Doing this frees up your mind to focus on the next most challenging thing while the muscles in your arms take care of the basics. This is how Kim Jong-gi was so great at storytelling. His muscle memory automatically took care of all of the fundamentals because he'd practiced this way so much and his mind was free to focus entirely on the story that he was crafting. It's really important to practice these basics over and over for a bit to build them into your intuition. It'll take time and exactly how much will vary from person to person. A good rule of thumb is to just practice until you get bored and then move on to the next phase. If you aren't having fun, you won't learn as much, so when things get boring, it's time to shake it up. Personally, I think ballpoint pen on paper is one of the best ways to get these basics down, since you can't erase and therefore have to go through each step of the process over and over really fast. You can do this digitally or in whatever medium you like most, but the goal is to build up that muscle memory and that comes from repetition, just keep that in mind. Okay, let's start painting. My previous attempts at painting faces have been... Well, let's just say I was working really hard. <laughs> I decided I'd bring back our old friend the Asara head and see what I could learn. I did a ton of these planes of the face studies, but when I'd try and apply it to a regular painting... Yeah, I don't know man, this is just beyond me at this point. <laughs> but then it hit me. How many artists are actually painting like this? I don't see any blocky planes on Natsume-san's art. And even with Cynics, my favourite digital artist, the only time I ever see him paint something even remotely resembling an Asara head is in a tutorial. So what gives? Desperate times call for desperate measures. I decided I'd try and recreate this Cynics painting as accurately as I could in the hopes of extracting some sort of forbidden knowledge. Colour picking is A-OK. -okay. When you're out learning, there are no rules. The goal here now is figuring out these shapes he's using and why my attempts post-Asaro studies all look so... demented. 
I started out with a sketch, of course. I normally don't fuss over the sketch much, but seeing as this is a hardcore study, I made sure to measure everything out properly to try and match his proportions as much as I could. There wasn't much method in the madness here, I kind of just zoomed in on one feature of the face at a time and thought about how the shapes he uses are different to the shapes I was seeing on the Asara head. Whenever I paint, I prefer to keep things as simple as possible. I have a sketch layer with base colours underneath that, and from there I just stack overpaint layers on top. But in my mind, it's really all just one layer that I'm painting on. I just create new ones so that I can flick them on and off to see the progress I've made since sitting down. The brushes I use are similarly simple. Clip Studio doesn't come with a default round brush, so I had to make my own, and ended up modifying it a little bit over time. One has pen pressure set to opacity, which makes it way easier to create hard edge shapes, but the other is set to density, which lets me get those softer edges without straining my wrist. You can download them for Clip Studio or Procreate from the link in the description if you wanna for some reason. So now for the big reveal. Honestly, I didn't think I was capable of creating something this good, even though it's just a copy. The thing is, if you're able to do a study like this at a level you're happy with, then it's only a matter of time before you can do it all yourself. I've got a lot of work ahead of me before all of this becomes intuitive, but seeing as a week ago I was only making this, I don't know man, that's a pretty big confidence boost for me. This video probably makes it seem fast though, like this level up happened in an instant, and I know I wrote it, but even in the title, one week of progress isn't the whole truth. Whenever you see someone making a fast progression post, you've got to keep in mind that you're missing a lot of context, potentially years of build up before their explosive growth. If you want the full picture, you can see my entire art journey over here in this sketchbook tour series, with literally every single drawing I've ever made. Otherwise, uh, subscribe. Okay, bye bye.